It's Ports of Call Waterfront Dining, award-winning service and cuisine with a view of the dynamic L.A. Harbor from every seat. For reservations and directions, visit portsofcalldining.com or call 310-833-3553. I became news director of KZAP, and uh, that was freeform stereo, and uh, that was great because you became part of the Capitol uh, correspondence, uh, you know, the Capitol Press Corps, and you had an office at the state Capitol, and uh, needless to say, uh, uh, our governor at the time was Ronald Reagan, who of course later became our president, and... Uh, Boy, there was a lot to discuss. Boy, was that fun! And I think I I gave the governor just grief every day, day in and day out. Now, KZAP was your first entry into, I guess, alternative sort of radio, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Nineteen sixty-eight. How did you uh, at that point adapt news-wise? Because you weren't doing like straight news like you do for KHJ or something. It had to be a little bit twisted, right? Uh, you, you betcha. Uh, Vietnam War was going he- going heavyweight at right, the time. Right. So uh, the Viet Cong were the liberation forces. <laughs> and just the, the whole twist of everything else, stories that you wanted to cover. There were prison strikes going on in, in California. There were huge student demonstrations at People's Park in Berkeley. Sure. Uh, San Francisco State, S.I. Hayakawa. And, right. You know, we, I say we, well, I could say we, we shut down the university system and all of that. And we, of course, had, we had to tell people what was going on. Right. So, and we would trade stories. Just as I told you, we, I was the capital correspondent. I was also uh, making sure that we got the story out and sharing stories with, uh, you know, WBCN in Boston or Pacifica Radio and stuff like that elsewhere to, to get that word out because we were still the alternative press. Right. And, uh, you know, relatively small, certainly relatively small in terms of uh, – the ability to spend money or, or have the resources of, say, a network. You know, we just didn't have it. Sure. So we uh, alligator clips and that kind of stuff. So from KZAP, where where did you move? KZAP, well, I should say I, I worked weekends at KSAN in San Francisco. Okay, which <clears throat> also a progressive station. You worked for Tom Donahue? Yep, I did. He was my, uh, uh, well, he was on my first boss because I, I worked at KZAP, but that was a commune and a collective. So in a way, we... we <laughs> <laughs> you know, but before we go back uh, further than KZAP, I need to uh, tell you a little story about KZAP, too, because it was so such great radio. Oh, yeah. We were a collective, and uh, our air staff had the choice of living downtown in the former lieutenant governor's mansion, which was very cool. It had two sets of uh, stairways uh, when it was built back in the day. The, the, the set of stairways that the people who occupied the house used, and then the smaller set, secret set of stairways that the hired help would use. Okay. And, uh, the place was great. It was Halloween and, you know, sneak yeah. up on people and all right. that. Right. Meanwhile, that was the downtown uh, home, and the, the other folks could live if they wanted to out in the country at a place called Big Deal Farm. And that was 56 acres out in Fair Oaks for people familiar with Sacramento. And that's where I lived. And uh, it's a fun place. We had a sheep dip pit that we used as a pool. And uh, uh, somehow we connected up with some great uh, sign painter in Sacramento that did beautiful signs for us. So when people approached the pool, we had, we had a great big sign that says, Welcome to Big Deal Farm. Uh, and the pool rules. We had three pool rules, and this was all on the sign. No pushing, no shoving, no clothes. There you go. <laughs> now, there may be some people that don't understand the concept of a commune. Well, you know, we just decided that we knew a better way of, of uh, running a radio station. A whole, you know, new music was coming out at this sure. point. This was, this was Northern California and uh, San Francisco. And, you know, every weekend we go to Winterland or Fillmore West. Right. And, uh, and so uh, having the idea of playing the, the, those bands, and uh, we had a... Uh, we were on the 13th floor of the Elks, Elks Temple. On the 14th floor was a huge ballroom. That was the top of the Elks Temple. We would invite bands up there. And, uh, you know, the Grateful Dead, the Jefferson Airplane, wow. every major Bay Area band you could think of we played because they loved the exposure. Because, again, this was fairly new then. Sure, know? sure. And to uh, spend some time with uh, some uh, fellow freaks w- was fun. So 
Kzap, uh, boy, that that was a great place to start, and I appreciate that.